Chapter 8, Lesson 4, Multiple Representations of Functions. Represent functions using words and equations. Words. A biker's distance in a race is equal to 15 miles per hour times the number of hours. We can write this as an equation, d equals 15 times t, where t represents the time in hours. Example 1. The Girl Scouts are selling cookies. They are charging $8 for each box of cookies they sell. Write an equation to find the total amount earned, T, for selling boxes of cookies, C. So we want to find the total amount, T, based on how many boxes of cookies that they sell. So if the boxes of cookies cost $8 each, then that means they make $8 times the number of boxes that they sell. And because we don't know the number of boxes that they sell, we would write that as $8 times C, where C is the number of boxes. Example 2. For a science experiment, Billy finds that the average person blinks 16 times per minute. Write an equation to find the total number of blinks, which represents the variable B, that a person does in M minutes. So, a person blinks 16 times per minute, so the number of times they blink is equal to 16 times the number of minutes that they're blinking for. And because we don't know the number of minutes that they're blinking for, we'll just write 16m. So, this would be the equation that represents the number of blinks that a person does in m minutes. Pause the video here and try these to yourself to check for understanding. Example 3, Part A. The school is holding a bake sale to raise money. They are charging $4 for each cupcake that they sell. Write an equation and make a function table to illustrate the relationship between the number of cupcakes sold, which will represent the variable C, and the total amount that they earned, which will represent the variable T. So the total amount that they earn is based on the number of cupcakes that they sell, which are $4 each. So they make $4 per cupcake. So now for our function table, we can use 1, 2, 3, and 4 as input values. So if we sold one cupcake that are $4 each, they would have earned $4. If we sell two cupcakes that are $4 each, they'd earn $8. If they sold three cupcakes that are $4 each, they would have earned $12. And if they sold four cupcakes at $4 each, they would have earned $16. Part B, graph the ordered pairs and analyze the graph. So this is the same table that we had in the last slide. Now we're gonna graph the ordered pairs. So my first ordered pair would be one comma four. So one, four would be here. My next ordered pair would be two comma eight, which would be plotted right here, three comma 12, and then our last ordered pair is four comma 16. If I were to connect these points, we can see that this is a linear function because our graph created a straight line. Pause the video here and try this yourself to check for understanding. 